Hi everyone, it's Gleb here from Unix Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to tag Docker images. All Docker containers use images. Image is like a baseline virtual disk for your Docker container. Usually, image has minimal Linux distro plus some application specific code. There are lots of official Docker images for all sorts of things. There is Ubuntu, there is Nginx, there is WordPress, and lots of other popular software solutions packaged for Docker use. You can use docker images command to show all the docker images that were downloaded to your system. So there is nginx, there is CentOS, there is Ubuntu. All the images have unique IDs, like here, but for ease of use they also can be tagged with specific names and tags that usually specify versions. Full identification of a docker image looks like this. It's login repository and tag. Official Docker repositories are using their software name as a Docker Hub login. That's why you can have repository names Ubuntu or CentOS or Nginx. They're a single project repositories really. They're all about this one particular product but usually you would have a team login name for your company and a separate repository for each software element you have, web server, database, and so on and so forth. For my website, I have a Unix tutorial as a login name, and then I can specify Ubuntu as a repository name and give it some tag like V1 if it's the very first version. Tags are really used to store multiple versions of the same image. So if you have an initial version of your software, it may get called v1. And then when you release the next version, you could call it v2. Most popular though is a default tag called latest. Although it's called tagging a Docker image, quite often I use this process just to set the repository name like this. Docker tag and then I'll specify the image ID and then I'm going to call it Unix Tutorial Ubuntu. I don't have to specify the latest word when tagging because it's the default. If I do Docker images now, I'll see that I have the same image with the same ID tagged as a completely different thing within my own company, within Unix Tutorial. This is obviously an Ubuntu image, and so I might want to tag it and specify a version of the Ubuntu OS that supports that image. To do that, I would run a very similar command. I'll use the same image ID, and I'll just specify Unix tutorial Ubuntu, and then put the colon and specify the version which in this case is going to be the release 2004. There you go, I have another one that has the tag of 2004. That's it for today. Let me know if you want to learn anything else about Docker. I'll do my best to research and record a video. Like and subscribe and visit my website. Thanks for watching. Have fun.